What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now on the eve of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania dropping domestically in a lot of parts of the country in the next 48 hours, Kevin Feige opened up and spoke extremely candidly with Entertainment Weekly about all things to come, Marvel Phase 5 and 6. He weighed in on new projects like Captain America New World Order, talked about projects from Phase 4 like the Marvels, and then looked forward to the mutants, the Fantastic Four, and even what's going on with Spider-Man 4. This really felt like a mini slate breakdown or presentation for Marvel in lieu of them not doing one until this summer with a lot of exciting news. We're going to go through the whole thing, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our next PS5 giveaway, which happens to be in just a couple of days. So again, all you got to do, be a sub, leave a comment, stick around if you want to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so again and for some context this is coming from entertainment weekly in an exclusive under the headline kevin feige opens up about phase five king in the future of the mcu now it starts off with some really good stuff about phase four and ant-man and the wasp quantum mania but it doesn't take long for the questions to get into the future and that's exactly where we'll start they ask i know you're calling phase four five and six the multiverse saga all leading up to 2025's avengers king dynasty and 2026's secret wars how are you thinking about phase five specifically is there a through line or general theme to which kevin feige responded it's really a classification system for the audience that's following along. It's to keep track of how all the pieces fit in place. I didn't really talk a lot about the overarching themes or direction for Phase 4 until afterward, in large part because we're always adapting and weaving new creative demands, new ideas we come up with. But I would say in very generalized terms, as you see in Quantumania, it's all about setting up the big overarching thread that will go through the next phase. Not every film in the Infinity Saga was focused on Infinity Stones or Thanos, and it'll be the same across five and six, but we're gearing up and people will get a taste of this in a big way in Quantumania as we lead to Avengers Secret Wars which I'm extremely excited for. Now, the next huge reveal in this article was when Kevin Feige seemingly confirmed what we've been reporting on here at the channel for the last six months. Quote, so people will see as we get further into phase five and six, the pace at which we're putting out Disney Plus shows will change so they get a chance to shine, to which Entertainment Weekly replied, so when you say the pace will change, do you mean spacing them out or putting out fewer shows a year? And Kevin Feige said both, I think, confirming what the industry started to report in late last year, that they're going back to quality over quantity after ousting Bob Iger and his directive to put out as much content as possible to get Disney Plus subscribers. They then asked Kevin Feige about the X-Men and Mutants and his reply confirms they finally know how they're going to do it. This is what Entertainment Weekly asked. One of the big introductions in phase four was Mutants. Namor and Kamala Khan are both explicitly referred to as mutants, what can you tell us about how mutants and the X-Men may or may not play into the future? This is what Kevin Feige says, quote, you know, I think we've said the word once. Kamala talks about a genetic mutation, Namor refers to himself as a mutant amongst his own people, and mutant is a real genetic term, not just a comic book term. But part of the fun is that I've been at this company for half of my life and we're just now tapping into arguably one of the biggest aspects of the publishing history. It's pretty remarkable and a testament to the house of ideas and what Marvel Publishing has done over the last 80 years. The question is how to do it and when to do it, and that's something we've been working on for years. Now we know, but we're not going to talk about it in laughs, at least confirming that Marvel Studios has figured out the game plan for how they'll introduce the X-Men and mutants in the future, but he's not ready to reveal that. Expect more reveals to come in the future announcements, and obviously, if they're not focusing on mutants in the multiverse saga, we're not going to have an X-Men film announcement at least another two or three years out at this point from the MCU, maybe 2026. He then touched briefly on Captain America New World Order, confirmed that that would start filming, quote, relatively soon, and talked about the dream of casting Harrison Ford in the film. He then also touched briefly on Thunderbolts, and one detail he offered up is that Bucky Barnes would be, quote, the de facto leader. He also talked about Blade and Mahershala Ali. He had one quick quote about that quote, it's going well, our director Jan is now down in Atlanta right now, cameras roll in like the next 10 weeks or so, confirming that that movie is also filming. Marvel Studios is gonna have like four or five films and TV shows filming all at once. He was then asked point blank about Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Quote, you mentioned Tom Holland, Spider-Man No Way Home was such a huge hit, and I know Marvel Studios has a deal with Sony regarding that character. Do you have any updates? on when we might be seeing Peter Parker again. And this is what Kevin Feige said about Spider-Man 4. All I will say is that we have the story. 
We have big ideas for that, and our writers are just putting pen to paper now. Hate to say I was completely right on this one, but with lacks of announcements from Sony last year and Marvel about this project at all, it was sort of foreseeable that the script wasn't even done yet, and to know that the script is just now being written means there's also probably no director attached, and this just pushes the release date for Spider-Man 4 further and further down the road, 2025 at least looking like the earliest now at this point that can be released, but we'll have to wait and see if Sony's going to make an announcement this year. And then at the end of the article, he finally talked about the Fantastic Four when he was signing this interview off the exact same way he signs off live presentations and slate announcements. Seriously, the wording is almost verbatim, but he also included how important the Fantastic Four is. This is what Kevin Feige said, quote, well, we talked a little bit about Secret Wars. We talked about King Dynasty as it related to Quantumania. The only other one in terms of me personally and my 23 year history is the Fantastic Four. We sort of talked about mutants and the whole aspect of that in the Marvel world, but the Fantastic Four is a foundation for everything that came after in the comics. There's certainly been versions of it on screen, but never inhabiting the storytelling of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that's something that is really exciting for us. People will start to hear more about that soon. We plan on that being a big pillar of the MCU going forward just the way they've been in the comics for 50 or 60 years. So not only telling us that there's some news for the Fantastic Four we're going to start to hear, although I think they're going to hold on to this until SDCC. He may be saying that, admitting that the Hollywood trades are going to get to some of that casting news first, but he's also saying that, hey, the Fantastic Four are not just part of the multiverse saga. They're going to persist in the MTU for quite some time going into Phase 7 when the mutants finally show up. And so while we may not get all of the pairings we ever dreamed for, what I'm saying is we will get to see some of the huge Fantastic Four and X-Men crossovers that have happened in the future of the MCU. We just don't know if there's still be an Avengers team or what that will even look like once there's an X-Men team franchise to sort of put your huge names in movies on. It could be that the X-Men titles inherit what the Avengers titles have become or maybe even the Fantastic Four will do that as well. But guys, let me know down below how hyped you are for not only Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania coming out in the next couple of days, but also for all of this. I'm all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s, but this year, instead of subscriber milestones, because who knows when and how we'll hit those, instead we'll do it to coincide with all the releases of Marvel movies, and the next one happens to be in the next couple of days. So if you haven't already, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, be a subscriber, then leave a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. Important to note that all winners will always be announced when there is a giveaway winner, live on video with my voice and the comments shown on screen. We'll never contact you in the comments, nor will any other YouTubers. Remember, anybody can use anybody's photo. They've been doing it for quite some time. It is not safe to contact people on a third party app like Telegram and WhatsApp. We certainly will never ask for shipping. So please be safe, vigilant on my channel, others across YouTube, really any platform. And if you see any sort of scam comments like this, just report them. You're doing me a huge favor. Thanks so much for checking out the channel, guys. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.